I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Comfort for those not able to go to church. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If, if you love our videos, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, if you love us going beyond, above and beyond during this time of need and doing extra videos, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. Ooh, nice catch. Churches are closed this weekend. People are at risk. Some churches are closed. P some people are at risk. Some people are generally scared to go out of their homes. Some people are scared of infecting others. Some people are scared of infecting loved ones. Self-quarantine, self-quarantine next to somebody who's self-quarantined creates a universe in which we can't go to church. Some churches are closed. And only streaming services. Or not streaming at all. At first glance, it might seem a little absurd. It's just one week. Can't you just miss it? We'll be all right. So says the world. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes members who have rough attendance records, and you know what I mean by that, don't understand members who are there every week who are troubled by the fact that they can't go to church. So this message is to both of you, all of us together. We live and breathe and move from the Lord's gifts, whether we know it or not. Our lives are held together by the God who saved us. The universe and the stars and all the things in the sky, the heavenly bodies, Everything, every atom in distant in a distant galaxy doesn't move apart from the suffering and death of Jesus, making that atom move for us and for our good. There are no accidents. The way of faith is to see everything connected, everything protecting us, everything for our good. We may not understand why something happens or why the Lord allows it to happen, but we understand it in the context of Jesus, for our good. In Jesus. Outside of Jesus, but in Jesus, everything must happen for our good because God gave up his son for us. Which means this weekend, as we live in this universe where I feel like it's gone crazy. It's like a horror movie where you're waiting for everyone to become a vampire or a zombie. You're like, everybody's possibly bit or maybe bit. There's always a character that's bit and he's hiding it, you know, and we're all looking at them, waiting for them to come after us with this invisible bug. So those of you who can't go to church and it's really troubling you, for you, the comfort is that your Father in Heaven knows your need. He has given you His Word. He has fed you His sacraments. He has baptized you and washed your sins away. He kept the children of Israel safe in their wanderings. He will keep you safe. And, he's, and, and now's the time for you to trust in the power of your baptism to carry you through this time. That water, and that word will keep you steadfast in the faith. And although you desire and hunger for the sacrament right now, you have all you need with your um, feet washed to carry you through this time. Meditating on his word, singing hymns with your with your services, watching other services, picking up the scriptures, celebrating this priesthood of, of, of the baptized. Every person 
together with their family, with the gift of their family, hearing and meditating upon the word. And also, communicating with your pastor for a chance to receive the sacrament. But the Lord knows your need. He's going to carry you through. He's going to bring you through to a place where you can appreciate and love receiving the sacrament weekly and being at church whenever you want. Also, to those who think it's not a big deal that you're missing church, this is a call to repentance. Witness the faith of your brothers and sisters in Christ who are lost without church. Repent. Stop judging them. Stop thinking that they're somehow cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They're not. And if you see them headed to church, don't judge them. Don't get and call them dangerous. They don't know how to live apart from the suffering and death of Jesus for them. And it might be good for you to learn how to li not live apart from the suffering and death of Jesus either. This weekend isn't a faith test either way. Your ability to stay away from church or your ability to have to go to church. What this, what this is about is an illness that is, that, is, that is attacking our community, our community, our communion together. And we will get through it, not by strength of will, but by a Father in heaven who loved us and gave up his Son for us. He's going to carry us through. Oh, look, he knows. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, oh, bad toss door. Just take that one. Caught that one. It's about the forgiveness of sins. It's about the mercy of God. He's going to feed you even in your exile. He's going to feed you even in your exile. The children of Israel, the church, has been exiled before. He's going to carry you through. You're going to make it. So if you are not, if you're in one of these dangerous groups, stay home. You don't have to go to church. You're free to miss this Sunday and the next until this is over with. You're going to be okay. Your baptism will carry you through. He will save you. And... If you don't care that you're missing church, if the whole thing seems idiotic, and maybe this video seems idiotic to you, it might be time to repent. God wants you to know how important church can be for you. It's not just something that you check off once a month. In Him, we live and move and have our being. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and my best buddy Thor, and this has been a Higher Things video short.